Hello, precious friends. I'm here tonight with another sweet bedtime story. And I'm actually reading to my dear friend who's sitting here on the couch and she does not yet know about Frog and Toad. Do you know about Frog and Toad? This book belonged to my big brother. In fact, he wrote his name in it, Love Paul, who was probably about four or five years old when he wrote that. So Days with Frog and Toad by Arnold Lobel. I'm gonna read you one of the four stories. This story is called Alone. Toad went to Frog's house. He found a note on the door. The note said, Dear Toad, I am not at home. I went out. I want to be alone. Alone, said Toad. Frog has me for a friend. Why does he want to be alone? Toad looked through the windows. He looked in the garden. He did not see Frog. Toad went to the woods. Frog was not there. He went to the meadow. Frog was not there. Toad went down to the river. There was Frog. He was sitting on an island by himself. Poor Frog! said Toad. He must be very sad. I will cheer him up. Toad ran home. He made sandwiches. He made a pitcher of iced tea. He put everything in a basket. Look at that basket. Toad hurried back to the river. Frog, he shouted, it's me. It's your best friend, Toad. Frog was too far away to hear. Toad took off his jacket and waved it like a flag. Frog was too far away to see. Toad shouted and waved, but it was no use. Frog sat on the island. He did not see or hear Toad. A turtle swam by. Toad climbed on the turtle's back. Turtle, said Toad, carry me to the island. Frog is there. He wants to be alone. If Frog wants to be alone, said the turtle, why don't you... Leave him alone. Maybe you are right, said Toad. Maybe Frog does not want to see me. Maybe he does not want me to be his friend anymore. Yes, maybe, said the turtle as he swam to the island. Frog, cried Toad. I am sorry for all the dumb things I do. I am sorry for all the silly things I say. Please be my friend again. Toad slipped off the turtle. With a splash, he fell in the river. Frog pulled Toad up onto the island. Toad looked in the basket. The sandwiches were wet. The pitcher of iced tea was empty. Our lunch is spoiled, said Toad. I made it for you, Frog, so that you would be happy. But Toad, said Frog, I am happy. I am very happy. This morning when I woke up, I felt good. 
because the sun was shining. I felt good because I was a frog and I felt good because I have you for a friend. I wanted to be alone. I wanted to think about how fine everything is. Oh, said Toad. I guess that is a very good reason for wanting to be alone. Now, said Frog, I will be glad not to be alone. Let's eat lunch. Frog and Toad stayed on the island all afternoon. They ate wet sandwiches without iced tea. They were two close friends sitting alone together. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. Good night, kiddos.